So we all know that men and women are very different in many ways, but what about when it comes to intermittent fasting and weight loss? So in today's video, I am going to explain a couple of reasons why men and women may want to go about it just a little bit differently. Hi everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so that I can keep you up to date on the latest in natural health, wellness, and weight loss. So ladies, this one is for you. Have you been considering intermittent fasting or low carb diets to have some questions about how to get started and if you should be doing it any differently? Well, the answer is actually yes. It can be a little bit different for women. Now, that's not to say that some women will not have any issues at all. There will be women who thrive on this kind of a lifestyle myself included. I have had no issues at all since I started intermittent fasting or low carb or keto. It's been really amazing for me and I'm thrilled about that. And for many of my patients, it's also been the same experience. However, there are some patients that don't do quite as well. Now there could be different reasons for this, but I think one of the main reasons is we have different hormones for men, so we have to pay attention to our menstrual cycle. So every week out of the month, we basically have different hormones building in our bodies. So the way that we eat is obviously affecting those hormones. Specifically related to the cycle, we may wanna consider eating a little bit differently when we're near the cycle. So in other words, that week before your period, that time, especially when you're having cravings or PMS, your body's trying to send you a message. Maybe you need more calories during this time. Maybe you need to eat more carbs during this time. So ideally you should listen and possibly make some changes, especially that week before the period. Eat more carbs if your body is telling you you need to have more or you feel hungrier. Eat more carbs at dinner, but eat good carbs. Don't eat junky carbs and sugar and sweets but eat more like root vegetables and things like that. And then as far as fasting goes, it also may not be the best time of the month to do both intermittent fasting or prolonged fasting that week or, or so right before your period. That's probably a better time to wait and not do any fasts at all and just wait until your cycle is finished. Now, if you start doing all these things and your cycles start to get worse or you start to lose your cycle, then you know that you may have to change what you're doing and that this may not work for you on a regular basis. So you're gonna to have to experiment with it and see what works best for you because we can't put everybody into the same category when it comes to this because we all have different needs. Another thing to mention is there might be underlying reasons why ladies have challenges. So they could have some type of major hormonal disruption or they're under a lot of stress so their body doesn't handle fasting quite the same or they have nutritional deficiencies or they have a lot of toxins in their body. So there's other underlying reasons that might make it a little bit more difficult for them to do intermittent fasting or to lose weight doing a low carb diet. But the basics are really pay attention to your cycle and eat a little bit differently prior to your cycle and consider not fasting as much right before. Now, if you're already in menopause and not getting a cycle, you don't have to worry about when you're doing your fasts. You can vary it up. But the, uh, the, the carb part, adding in more carbs, you could be a little bit more flexible. I think women at all ages can benefit from having a little bit of carbs here and there. But when you're in menopause, you don't really have to worry about when that is. Just be in tune with your body and figure out the times that you might need to have extra carbs. Now look, if you're doing fine without any carbs at all, and you're thriving, you're feeling great, you're losing weight, there's no need to add them back in. Just saying that women sometimes may need to cycle some carbs in here and there just for the benefit of enhancing their hormones. So those are the basics. What are you guys doing about this? Are you considering when you're fasting? Is it different during your periods? How has it been working out for you so far? Let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also wanted to let you know about our Facebook group called Fast Track to Weight Loss. It's mostly women in the group as well. So please feel free to join, the link is below. And we are there to help you through your journey with intermittent fasting and keto and all things low carb. So click the link below and join our group and you can get some more coaching from us directly in the group. All right guys, thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next video, bye.